And we're back. So I'm, I flattened out the dough for the mini chicken pot pies. And what I'm doing right now is I'm making um, my, for the muffin tin. So I'm putting it on around. So I'm going to take them and we're going to spread it out. And we'll put them in. Let's be pretty. Spread out. And we'll come up on the sides. And go ahead and put them on in. Now, when you look at this recipe, it calls for Marie's Calendars um, mini doughs. Um, um, her actual her dough, but like I said, you saw how easy it was to make the dough. You could do it yourself. You know, be adventurous. It's fun. I mean, the worst that can happen, you'll have, um, you'll still have, it could still be good because you can imagine all that butter that's in there. It's gonna be quite tasty. like so you have a cakey base and the top will be rusted over and actually I'll put like little tops on it if there's enough dough left and then you take the rest of the dough and let's see now I may just end it like that but I'll see I see already the dough is starting to get a little a little misty on me. Make sure this is all flowered out. Because you cannot work with stock dough. That does not work. a little larger, I'm going to make six. And I'm going to let these be the tops. So I'm changing stuff as I go along, as you can see. So I'm going to let these be the tops. Because what I think is going to happen. Three. Four. And that's four of them. Two. Put these over on the side. One, two, three, four. Is it going to be enough? Because those are deep enough, um, it won't be a problem for them to be. Um, what you call it? You just make put this put put them on the top. So you use the rest of the dough to make the last two. Holding tin that I had. Five and six. And if you want to be fancy, you could take this and be fancy with it. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to take our filling on the inside here. I'll let this sit on top. Since we're not using that one. And we're going to discard this. Take our spoon that we used earlier, rinse it off. And we're going to fill it. We're going to stir this up to get all the ingredients witty and witty. And like I suspected, this is going to be enough 
four, six. So see what I do is I go ahead and separate it out. And I know it's gonna be one, two, three. I'm just gonna fill it up there. And these, these are a little larger, so they're gonna be just right. So we're gonna fill these bad boys up. Now, you can make 12, you just have to use smaller tins. So that's what I'm discovering. See, so when you're cooking, sometimes, you know, now I have the small ones. I have them. But I took these out. So I figured, oh, okay, I should make 12. But it's too big. And that's not a problem, like I said. So I'll make six bigger ones. And this is a wonderful meal because you have all of your, you have your whole meal in one shot. So you have your vegetables, your starch, and your protein all in one. And then again, if you want to make this vegetarian or vegan, you can just exclude the chicken if you want to make it vegetarian. If you want to make it vegan, you don't have to, you can use, well I use almond milk. Because almond milk and there's also, there's chicken substitutes and stuff like that you can use to substitute for the the condensed uh, milk thing. You can make, I, I, I can make a version of it. You can make it with coconut milk and add the same ingredients. So there's all types of things you can do. So I'm just gonna place these on top. And these should bubble up pretty nice. I'm not mistaken. I'm just going to get a little fancy here just because I feel like it. And there's dough left over. Just put a little design on it just to be fancy. You don't want to waste the dough. And guess what? That bottom line is, it's dough and bread. And so what's going to end up happening, it's just going to cook out. And that's it. That's all that's going to happen. And there should be some kind of wash that goes on top you need to also need to leave room for some steam so I'm just going to check that against the recipe just to make sure and it's okay if you don't know that's why sometimes I follow recipes because I'm still learning and so if I'm not sure of something I just go back to my original recipe and take a look and then if you know if you just want to try it out you just keep on going I don't want to make these too puffy. Again, one thing when you're doing dough like this is you have to work with it quickly because it starts to melt and you don't want the butter to go away from you don't want the butter to go away. So now, just to make sure I'm just going to check this And roll it because it's 12 circle, which I did. Four rounds. Yep, maybe, yep, mm -hmm. I did it right. That's what I do. Okay, all right. So I'm just going to take these and place them in the oven and cook them for like 25 minutes. And when we come back, we're going to see what it looks like. All right, see you later.